Plug Green. Welcome to the broadcast. I'm your host, Maggie Cavanaugh, and I'm here today with my brother in Christ, Michael J. Patterson. And hey, what's going he has on? a familiar face because he is an actor and uh, he is definitely called by God to do the things that he does. And I'm honored to have him here today. Michael, welcome to the broadcast. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Well, it is it's such a blessing to have you here. And just a quick backstory, y'all. As you guys know, Candace Kirkpatrick is my sister in Christ. And she had introduced me to various people. I was in a hotel at uh, NRB. And uh, there, I was trying to reach the pancake mix. And there's this nice young man who says, let me get that for you. And I turned around and I said, thank you. And I immediately recognized you, Michael, because I've seen some of the work you've done. And uh, I was grateful to have that encounter because I thought, man, I need to have him on keys. And so we're, we're really excited about having you here today. And so I wanted to find out from you because so many people, they think, okay, I got a gift. I got a talent. But what is God saying? So how did you get involved in acting? So, uh, as I say every time, uh, since the age of 12 years old, um, I got involved in a play in sixth grade uh, called The Wiz. And uh, I was the the Wiz, Sir of Oz, actually. And uh, I was extremely nervous, but people gave me, uh, you know, encouragement. Uh, my sixth grade teacher did as well. And uh, after we did the performance, I was hooked. And uh, ever since, you know, from, from uh, sixth grade to middle school to high school, getting my thespian points on the crucible uh, stage play and then college, my young 20s, and then uh, the break where I became an adult <laughs> and, and, and life happened. Um, God told me at 36 years old, go back to it. And I, I, I really thought that, okay, is this she, is just you God talking to me? And um, uh, he really was talking to me and uh, I hit a short film. And after that short film called Cut My Hair Barber, I, it took off and I'm um, <laughs> here today and I'm thankful. Um, God, God is, you know, he, uh, it's about obedience. Um, when he tells you to do something, you, you do it. Um, and uh, yeah. So that's what's happening that. with me right yeah. now. Yeah, Obedience is better than a sacrifice. And we don't always understand the why, but we just need to say yes, sir, and go on. Yep. <laughs> so we're, you're going to be doing some things, and I don't want to put too much light on it because I know that it's in process, but you're going to be doing some directing as well. Well, yes. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to do my sh first short film, maybe short film, long form. Maybe it is a feature. I don't know. It depends on what God has for me, but I do know he put it in my heart to talk about a, uh, a story that's uh, a, a true story based on my life with some fiction to make it interesting. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I've been thinking about it for a while. I have my notes down, jot and outline everything. Um, now it's time for the script after the script and I'm going to get a proof read and then, you know, financing and then try to pull it off. You know, that's what I want to do. And uh, it's based on uh, it's a, re a redemption film um, as well as how myself being a young guy was hard headed. Um, and, uh, you know, hard headed, but not, you know, but not, I was naive and hard, and hard headed. And, um, I was trying to do things thinking I did, did them well, but God was like, no, we do it this way. And I was like, I'm going to go ahead and do it this way. And then life happens and then some, you know, tragic situations. And, uh, you know, then at the end it becomes, uh, you know, an awesome story. And, uh, yeah, so I, I look forward to it. Um, still picking up things, pieces here and there to, to complete and say, okay, I'm ready, you know? And um, I thought about um, starring in the film, um, but I would really like to direct someone else, someone that's not, you know, that hasn't been heard of. He's, he or she is very talented because I have a couple, uh, you know, I have two uh, stars that one in it, male and female, um, but I want someone that's unheard and someone has just got that raw talent and that's a, a, a director's uh, actor so that I can just, pour all my knowledge into this, this, this young man and, and go from there because, you know, um, I just, I, I, I want to do that. That's, it's just something I look forward to doing because you can't do everything, you know, right. I'm, just, I'm definitely not that guy. <laughs> yeah. I can only do one thing and focus on one thing. So, you know, that's, I'm excited about it. I'm super excited about it as well, because I think that that is the next step for a lot of people that are in acting is because they see the big picture. They see what's going on. But yet our stories matter. They yes. matter so much and they're he they bring healing. And I love the fact that it's a redemption story. It's my favorite kind of story because it brings power and change that only comes through God. 
Yes. So that's exciting. Super exciting. Well, I know you've been working on a couple of projects recently. Mm -hmm. uh, Amazing Gracie being yes. one. Can you share just a little bit about that? I know that a whole lot's not out about it yet, but I know it's going to be a great film. Yeah. So uh, Sarah Lejeune, who uh, also cast me for Imposter Pastor, the, the last film that I did, she's starring in this film as well as a young girl. And I forgot her name. Please forgive me for that. Uh, but she's an amazing actress. Amazing Gracie is based on a story of, you know, a, a young girl who, um, you know, she's just a, an old soul. She's whimsical. She's smart, uh, intelligent, lovable. Um, a tragedy happens in the story and there is uh, there's conflict. There's uh, there's this family drama, like drama, drama um, uh, based on the inheritance and also on custody. And that's all I can talk about concerning that, because I don't want to give anything away. But, um, you know, it's just uh, it's amazing that I'm back on set with. Uh, some of the people that I was with on Imposter Pastor, including the director, Micah uh, Corona. Uh, Sarah Lejeune, she wrote and she's starring in this film. Uh, Sarah Lejeune Woods, I'm sorry. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it's going to be, it's it's amazing. Um, there's some great actors on here. And, uh, you know, uh, Word of Life films, they, 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 they're just amazing. Um, family oriented. And they... Um, the experience on set with them is like unlike any other. It's just, it's fun. It's a lot of hard work, um, but they're very well prepared and they, they are very good storytellers. So be prepared for Amazing Gracie because it's gonna, it's gonna warm your heart. Do we know when it's coming out yet? I don't know that, but I would say, you know, based on how we're filming, we're filming now. So it should be some time next year, I would say, yeah. Gotcha. Well, I want you guys to stay tuned because we are gonna take a, a look at a clip uh, from Imposter Pastor, because I am a huge fan of what that uh, media is doing, that company is doing, because it is, you can tell that it's prayed for, it's anointed, it's got a message behind it, and that's so impactful and important. But right before this going on the Amazing Gracie set, you were on a set of a very important, timely film that's going to be coming out that addresses some serious issues that need to have more and more awareness. And I have to say that we have more awareness now than we did 10 years ago. 10 years ago, people thought this only took place in third world countries and things like that. But there is a film coming out next year that you're starring in, along with some other great actors and actresses that really hits home yes. about trafficking. Can you share yeah. a little bit about that? So the movie is called Undefiled. Um, I finished wrapping that film about, I'd say, almost three weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago. Um, and uh, it's uh, the premise is baseball. It's a baseball film. Um, you got a, a, an incredible athlete who has a past um, and that past um, makes who he is today. So he deals with his, uh, I would say, you know, his, his talents of today, his family. But then he go he, he remembers uh, the things that he had gone through. And uh, it's based on, you know, generational curses, um, father, son, broken relationships. Um, let's see, sex trafficking. Um, and, and just, uh, you know, it is, and, and, and just, uh, how can I say, like I said, with the father, son, like it, it, it's really important that this movie comes out because it's, it's how we can um, identify the issues and problems between fathers and, and sons from, from the old days to now and how, you know, how country has been transformed because of, how our um, relationships and families are broken. And when you have broken families, you have broken society and that's what's happening. It, it's, you, you can't hide it. And um, so, yeah. And then with the sex trafficking, you know, that's just, you know, that's always something that's been happening. And in, in, unfortunately in a lot of professional sports arenas, when it comes to big time shows or big time events, that's when there's an uptick and that type of trafficking, um, drugs, sex, all of that. And um, it needs to be put out there. More films needed to, to, to uh, speak about it. And it breaks my heart because there's a lot of broken people from that situation. Yeah. The people who are the antagonists and the people who are the victims, they all, you know, once they leave that, that situation, they have to pick up the pieces and they're so shattered. And, you know, we need to reach out to those people. We, we can't look at them as people like, okay, well, you were part of that, so I don't want any parts of you. No, those are the people that we really need because those people, God, those are God's people as well. So, Amen. you know, I, I'm just really, um, when you see the film, <laughs> it's going to be something else. That's all I can say. And uh, lightoflifefilms.com is where you would like to go to. Um, uh, my director, Matt, he's an amazing guy. His team is amazing. 
Um, I, I love being down there in Missouri. Uh, we shot in Georgia and Missouri and some other locations, but my shooting was in Missouri and uh, the team was amazing. They have their family as well. It's always so good to be on a set when you're you're with uh, people who are, uh, are passionate about what they do. They're professionals. They're really good at what they do. And at the same time, you know, after the work, we get to play, we get to pray, we get to have fun, we get to talk, we get, get to communicate and we become family. And that's what it's all about. That's why I'm in this business because of relationships. <laughs> so, Amen. Yeah. Yep. yeah, we do better together. And when you gather a bunch of, of, of gifted creatives and put them in one spot who love Jesus, yes. amazing things happen. Yes, and it sounds like that that film is and it's near and dear to my heart because I've I have dealt. You, you might not know this about me, but my my background is in biblical counseling. So okay. I've dealt a lot with people in brokenness. Okay. And um, one of my dearest friends, um, Candy Carter, has been in 20 years or, or over 20 years of dealing with trafficking before people really knew what it was. And she has adopted some children out of that. And one gave testimony at my last conference in January. A little girl, 12 years old, stood up and gave testimony. I was blown away. There was like, you talk about... Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tear up if I start talking about it. But when you see that God, God is in the midst of trying to rescue people mm -hmm. from their own stuff. But when he brings them out of such brokenness as something like that, and yeah. you're right, I, this film is going to shed some light on that. Because I don't think that people understand, you know, even like the, uh, the big events like Super Bowl is one of the largest days for trafficking. Yes. and. And taking something like the love is baseball, right? Is it baseball? Yes, it's baseball. Yeah, and I love baseball movies because my kid play baseball. But mm -hmm. you take the the I love a baseball movie and then mix in a message that's so important. Not to mention the fact that anything that's bringing back connecting the father to the sons, we know that that's scriptural. We know that God wants to do that and He wants to move in that area. And we have an epidemic of young men, yes. and young men and women who have father wounds and generational iniquities and things that have been passed down and they get stuck. Yes. So this is going to blow some light on the enemy. Yes. I'm telling you, he's not going to be able to stay. He's going to be running as soon as this comes out. And awareness is coming out to the people to see it. And I want to show, uh, let's take a second here and show a little clip. Now, y'all, you're not going to see Michael in it or uh, my girl Sharon in there, but but you're, this is was done before they came on the scene. But you don't want to miss this movie. So I want to show you the little uh, slide here so that you can know when it comes out, have this imprinted in your brain and not only go see it, but promote it. So here we go. Awesome. My goodness, my goodness. Whew. Just the emotion that you can see in that with no words, no yeah. words spoken. And, and, you know, so that's the teaser, you guys. So be looking for the official trailer to come out. Be looking for the film to come out. And not only just see it, support it, get other people to see it, gather a group, bring yeah. awareness. And uh, these are real life things that the church needs to talk about. Absolutely. And so I'm grateful, grateful for that. While we're in the in the midst of sharing things, I have to share this trailer because I love this trailer. When I first seen it, I laughed so hard. I was like, I cannot wait till this movie comes out. Now, this is a movie. So the two movies we talked about, and there's multiple films and projects that Michael's worked on. Just Google him and I'm going to share his, his information here where you can follow him on Instagram and then see what God is doing through him. But there's another clip. 
and it's from imposter pastor. And there are times in life where we, we just need to laugh, you know, laughter is a good medicine. Yes, and so this film does that. So uh, before it came out, I can't tell you how many times I watched the trailer just so I could laugh. <laughs> it was one of those things where I was like, this is so good. And I was like waiting for it to go on sale and immediately bought it because I thought it was so great. So let's take a look at that as well. Do I got it up there? Uh, not yet. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Okay. Still working on the technical aspects of things. <laughs> uh oh. Chrome is not giving me permission. Oh no, no, we're no, no. We're we know we pray. <laughs> well, it's it's just got me now. <laughs> well, my goodness. Now you see me, now you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, Michael. Didn't mean to leave there on you. I hit the wrong button. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and give this a try again because this is just so comical. And now we got it. You got it now? Yes, we do. Okay, here we go. Let's roll that clip. After this, last job. After this, loose. Hans, uh, we have your money right here. He is Hans. I am Hans. <laughs> oh, he's Hans too. No, she is Hans. I am Hans. Hans, that's what I said. Enough with the yabber yabber. You made a deal with the Swedish mob? How much do you owe them? Only 17,000. What? what? Okay, there's some distance between us. <laughs> duh, duh. Lay low here tonight. Oh, it's the church, baby. Oh. How do we have fun? Don't go talk to me to anyone. Can't, Can't trust any these hypocrites. You must be Pastor Hopkins. What is going on? This guy thinks I'm a visiting pastor. Pastor Hopkins has graduated from an elite Bible university. Forgive me, Pastor, I have forgotten the name. The Divine Ebenezer School Seminary. Where they catch the Holy Ghost. Can't go wrong with the Holy Ghost. Amen. <laughs> yeah. Just gonna pretend to be a pastor and make it rich. All we see is secrets and strife and gossip. There is a say hypocrisy. Who would serve a God whose followers are so messed up? <laughs> we would like to invite you to be our interim pastor. <laughs> This is your dumbest scheme. Yeah. If we can get our hands on some of the offer money, we're well on our way paying off the Hanses. Well, let me introduce you to our new pastor's wife. Why don't you pray with her? Oh, God, great. Holy. <laughs> <laughs> you don't do this too often, do you? I imagine this place needs a little shaking up. We want our money. Because it sure would be a shame for that beautiful lady. Something hurts me. I'm not going to get out of it this time. My goodness. I love oh my it. goodness. I just I I'm laughing all over. Um listen, you guys can get that. Is that a living word? Is that right? What is the livingwordvideos.com or you can go to imposterspastor.com to get a DVD as well. Um we're in the um film festival stage right now. Um so it's not for streaming yet until we finish that um that part of the business. But um it's a, it's a funny film. It's good. It's I love it. Um I love the actors, Matt Moore, um Stephanie. Um uh, uh, Sharon and you got Micah, um, uh, Vanessa. It's just so many people that are great. Um, um, uh, you got uh, uh, Jody as well um, in there. I just love them all. It was fun. It was such great chemistry. Such a great film. Yeah. Such a great film. And, and you're right. There's just a brilliant actors and actresses. And I'm just like so impressed with all of them. So I love the show. I love the storyline because 
and I don't want to give away any spoilers because I want you guys to purchase it, share yeah. it and so forth. But it is definitely uh, shine some light on how church hurt can stop you and uh, what God can do with it. And I just I won't say anything else, but you guys got to see it. You guys have got to see this film. And it's just really good for laughter. Like I said, you know, when you need a good laugh, you can pull out a movie like that. And I, we've watched it more than once because me, I, I, I got, it came in, my husband was at work. I couldn't wait. And so I watched it and then he, then him and I watched it. Then I watched it with my granddaughter. And then, you know, then I had a friend that needed to watch it. And I, because we need to laugh. I mean, yes. there, we're living in some times where there is so much heaviness and we need a balance. It's, it's almost like our diet, you know, we need to you know, balanced That's diet right. of nutrition, <laughs> balanced diet of laughter and so forth. So my goodness. So what do you see? Um, what is, let me ask you this. And I know you can't narrow it down to say what your favorite project is, but what do you feel like was something that was really transforming for you personally to step into that role? Uh, to step into that role that train. Okay. So I, I hmm. Ask that question one more time so I can just make sure I yeah. answer it correctly. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, is there any role that you played where it just, you came off the set going, man, God did something in me? Just It, as a it was imposter artist. pastor. Yeah, it was imposter okay. pastor, actually. Um, You know, I, I've, I've been on great sets. I'm not going to take away from my friends and directors of, of, of past, but imposter right. pastor solidified as, okay, Michael, you know, uh, God is putting you in, into the forefront as a lead actor. You have always been part of ensemble cast. You've been a strong supporting actor or whatever, but you know, God said, okay, Mike, I want you out here. You're going to be uncomfortable. You don't think that you deserve it. You don't think that you're good enough. All these things happened in my mind as uh, Micah told me, Hey, I want you for this role. And I'm like, Oh, <laughs> you know, and then Sharon, you know, she's an amazing actress to star alongside her and uh, Stephanie and Matt Moore. Um, you know, and then also, you know, uh, uh, Michael Corona, he did uh, Fat Chance. He did some other great films as well. And I loved his film. So I'm like, wow, I'm getting ready to do something pretty, pretty big. So um, it, it, it just changed my uh, it changed me to say, OK, Michael, you're good enough to uh, to to do these things and present, you know, uh, entertainment uh, to the community, to for families and, and, and to present uh, the word of God through your, your acting. And um, here I am. And um yeah, and then it's it's just taken off from there as well. There's like other things that are happening, other roles that I've uh, been told that I'm, uh, you know, that I've been a, I'm going to be a part of um, other films, and um, you know, it's just crazy. Also, you know, when we were at NRB um, to 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 win that third place award, um, bronze award, um, it was huge. I just thought that it was great to be honored, uh, you know, to to uh, to be uh, what is it uh, nominated for for best actor for the role of Inquisitor Whistle from Fable, which is an awesome TV series. For, um, and um, you know, uh, Glenn Wise is the director of that as well. And when that happened, I was just like, God, you're amazing. You know, you 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 told me these things, and you, and I always prayed for the help of my unbelief. And God was like, what, what, what more do I need to do? You know, <laughs> and so you know, this God is good. That's all. Um, yes. And yes, I'm thankful for the people, the actors and the directors and filmmakers, producers and all of that, that encourage me when they take me to the side and they tell me things. And I'm just like, wow, you know, I just step outside of myself looking at you myself like Michael. Yeah, this is happening, dude. And then come, jump back in and I'm like, OK, let's do it. You know, it's, <laughs> it's crazy. So I'm just excited. It's a, it's a great journey. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an actor who keeps learning. Um, I, I, you know, I am a professional, but at the same time, I'm an amateur when it comes to grabbing and sponging in the information to be a better actor, um, to be a better uh, man, to be a better uh, brother in Christ, a better um, father, a better, you know, friend, you know, um, I, I'm, I'm growing and, and, and growing on, in this business is, it's been amazing. And, um, you know, I hope it keeps, you know, accelerating. Yeah. You, know. you know, I, I just, I, I am certain that it will keep accelerating because whenever I think of you and your acting career, I, I think of, you know, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all these yeah. things will be added unto you. And that's the scripture that comes to mind when I, when I watch the progress, you know, cause I think, I think I mentioned before we started, I think the first time I seen you was in, um, in love different. Mm -hmm. And um, and it, just a fun role and, you know, and a, a funny guy, you know, just your acting. I was like, God's going to do something with these people here because your um, obedience and mm -hmm. it just, 
you can see you can see talent you can see talent but you can also see calling and you know the gifts of the the spirit without repentance so there are a lot of people out there that are doing it on their own accord or yes. they're doing it for selfish ambition mm -hmm. and you know the difference when you talk yes. to those people and also you can actually sometimes depending on it you know and i don't mean to get spooky spiritual on y'all but if you're sensitive in the holy spirit you can catch it in their acting on a film yes. you can be watching it and you can say oh they're an authentic christian or they're an actor there's a difference okay and I think because, Michael, that you have yielded yourself to that and you've said, yes, sir, to the father and you're doing it, you know, that there's that well done, good and faithful servant thing. And that's why the doors are opening and will continue to open. And mm -hmm. I'm super excited to see all the fun stuff coming down the pike. And I love the fact that you're playing Sharon's husband again because you mm -hmm. played it in a comedy and now in a drama. In a drama. And you're not such a great, nice guy in that one. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> oh, yeah. So, you know. <laughs> People understand that I'm an actor. So, you know, right, right. Give me love afterwards. <laughs> That's right. So, y'all don't be hating on my brother when this film comes out that he's a bad guy because he's not. You've seen it right here. You've seen his heart. Michael, if you could leave the audience with a key, what would that key be? Uh, the key is, uh, you know, uh, seek ye first the kingdom of God. Please do so. Um, and all those things will be added unto you. It is the truth, it is real. Um, obedience is, is, is mandatory. Um, and it's not an obedience of, oh, you know, the unwilling. God loves us so much. Okay. That when he asks you to be obedient, he's going to give you those treasures of your heart. Um, but you know, at the same time, he's going to give you this understanding of the relationship that you have with him. And it's just going to make sense. Even when you are going down a path that you can't see, and that's what faith is, you know, when you, you, you can't see it, you, um, but you, you, you hear it and you, you know that, you know, uh, it's everything's going to be fine. God loves you. Just yeah, just give put him first in your heart and your life and your family and everything that you do. And even when things get tough and get hard, God is going to see you through it. It, it. He's never failed me. He never will fail us ever. Right. Always remember that um, and chase, you know, ch chase the dreams that God put in you. He put them in you when you were born, when he knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb. So everything that you are so good at and you know you're good at, keep attempting until you perfect it and until you just you know you have this joyous uh, uh um uh, uh you know um what can i say journey uh, uh of just uh things that god is just he 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 delights in 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 our in our joy you know he, he's, he's happy for us so just keep putting him in your life first um and it, it just gets better and better and better and then when the dark times come he's going to take you through that and he's going to hold you and you're going to get through you can't get through it by yourself that's God, right. God, we were created to worship him. We were created to depend on him. We're not independent. We're dependent on the father. Stop with this independent mindset. You know, the independent mindset of it's 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 what's crippling our nation. Actually, it's it's good to to be an adult. It's good to be a man or a woman of God and, and, and do things that you're supposed to do. But you're supposed to be dependent on God. That's who we were created to do. We were created to depend on him. And when you when you do that and you obey him, amazing things happen. And I'm just a hard head telling you all because I fell so many times and I'm starting to understand <laughs> obedience is required and it's out of the love of the father, you know, so. Amen. Amen. I, I love that. <clears throat> that is good. That is a message right there and so encouraging y'all. Listen, he gave you a whole key ring of stuff. <laughs> and all kinds of good scriptures to stand upon. And it's true. It is so true. You know, when I turned 40, I felt like I was entering into my promised land. And now I, it was I was in my 30s when I started serving the Lord. So mm -hmm. I get what you're saying. I did yeah. it my way. And uh, that old Frank Sinatra song, I did it my way. I think it was Frank that sang that. That is not a mantra for life. OK, no, do not. it God's way. <laughs> yeah. And things well, will go accordingly. Go ahead. I'm sorry, I wanted to include in another film that I'm a part of, and I just want to yes. let you all know that's coming out um, uh, very soon, and it should oh. be next year as well. And it's called uh, 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 Running the Bases by Jimmy Womble and Marty. Oh, Wombles. the other baseball movie yes. with my sister uh, Candace Kirkpatrick's in that, yes. right? Yes, there's so many incredible, incredible talent. This this movie is going to be awesome as well. So I just want to let yes. you all know that hold on to your seats; it's coming soon. I'm so proud of everyone in that, and uh, I, I was just it's it's awesome that I was a part of that as well, and I played a good guy in this one. So, 
<laughs> well, listen, if you guys want to see more uh, of his stuff, he has a YouTube channel and and we're, we need to help him grow this thing because there is all of clips of him and different demo reels and things. And in the entertainment industry, all that's like a little scissor reel of all some of the work he's done. And you can see a transition of a lot of great work. So go to his YouTube. It's, you know, on Michael Patterson. You can Google Michael Patterson and you can find out. You can subscribe to his channel and then you'll see. Michael, whenever you're in a new film project, do you upload it to that YouTube I channel? Uh, well, no, I don't. I usually announce it on Facebook or my Facebook public uh, page. Okay. Uh, Instagram, I do that. You know, um, it, I, I used to do it a lot. I, I kind of slowed down a little bit because, you know, I, I, I just something that God told me to, you know, slow down on. But when I do pub, I, I, I'll like, you know, when I'm on a project, I will post like pictures and stuff like that. I'm like, hey, I'm on a new project, whatever. But uh, yeah, so, you know, check those, uh, you know, Twitter, uh, Instagram um facebook public and you just look up look up under look up michael j patterson and you the google will give you a lot of great things and it'll give you all of my handles when it comes to social media that's the easiest thing i can tell you yeah um, and uh yeah so i'm just looking forward to, and i do stunts as well as an actor so i'm, I, you know, I'm an artist and a, and a stunt guy so if y'all need me for that, let, let me know. <laughs> Just want to put it out there. <laughs> wow. That to me, that always seems like such a dangerous role, Michael. <laughs> it is. And it hurts sometimes. Trust me. That stuff. What, what's your favorite stunt you've ever done? Uh, I would say probably we, I did a, a short film uh, called um, the, the Courier um, where I wore a wig and I was dressed as an elf and we ran through the woods and did a lot of fighting. And I was working with some really great martial artists, uh, James, um, uh, Whitley the third, who was an amazing martial artist, world renowned uh, champions, uh, uh, kung fu artist. He was uh, in forms, um, and he was my uh, stunt choreographer, and uh, we did some great things. I got hurt on there actually. I tore my tongue up uh, doing something, and oh. um, yeah, it was one of my favorite. And I just love martial arts. I love the fight scenes. <laughs> I love running. Um, I ran track professionally, so I love to keep running fast as as, as much as I can. So I get really old. <laughs> but uh, those are the things I love. I just love things that are high octane and just action packed. It's always been something I love since I was a little kid. So I love, I love that. that life. You know. <laughs> I love that. So he acts, he stunts, and now he's going to direct. We're super excited about what God's doing in your life, Michael. Thank you so much Thank for being so. on here with us today. And you guys go follow him on Instagram. And I agree. Googling him is the best way. Make sure you put the J in there. Yeah. So do you have, keep the J in there because the last name Patterson is kind of common? There are so many Michael Pattersons. That's the most generic name in, in history, probably. <laughs> so, yeah, Michael J. Patterson will show up my my big head, you know. And <laughs> you guys will find him and you've seen it right here on Keys to Your Best Life. Thank you so much, Michael. Thank you. And you guys make sure that if you are... Um, once you get this information, that you do share it out with your family and friends, co-workers to encourage the body of Christ and to lead others to the Lord in Jesus Amen. name. We'll see you next time.